So this is a short video for how to use elbow crutches going up the stairs. Once you've adjusted your elbow crutches to the correct height, for this purpose of this video, we're just going to assume that your operated leg is your left leg. And some people use the acronym good leg up to heaven, bad leg up to hell. In this video, I'll just talk about your operated leg and good and bad leg and your unoperated leg which will be your good leg. So if you've got a banister at home, what you want to do is just hold on to one side. What you're doing is placing your good leg up first, firm grip on the banister, so your good leg goes up first, push up through the elbow crutch and bring up. So you're just repeating that all the way up. So your unoperated leg goes up first, push up through the elbow crutch and come up. If it helps, you can bring your hand a bit further up on the banister, so good leg up, push up, and the same all the way up. So you're just coming up right to the top. So good leg or unoperated leg up first, and come up that way to the top of the stairs. At the top, obviously, you'll need to change hands. And then what you're doing this time is your bad leg goes down first or your operated leg. So remember for the purpose of this video, your left leg, this one, is your operated leg. So what you're doing is elbow crutch down first, operated leg, and then your unoperated leg. So elbow crutch down first, your operated leg, and then your unoperated leg. So elbow crutch down first, bad leg and then your good leg. Remember to bring your hand down as well and that will give you better grip as you're going down. So keep on going down in that method and that's how to use one elbow crutch and a banister. When you're using one elbow crutch as well you can also hold two elbow crutches what you do with this method is go up the stairs the same as usual, but you're holding your elbow crutch on the outside. And for this, the purpose of this is if you happen to let go of your elbow crutch or it drops out of your hand, it'll fall away from your leg and it won't fall down on the inside. So you would just go up, if you needed both elbow crutches at the top, just holding it outside the handle on the outside and then you would push up the same as normal and going up and down the stairs. For two elbow crutches if you don't have a banister or the wall then you're doing just the same so you're pushing up through both elbow crutches and your unoperated leg or your good leg goes up first and then again you're just coming up to the top pushing up through the elbow crutches each time. So your unoperated leg goes up first and your operated leg comes up last. And then when you're going down, you put your elbow crutches down first. So remember, this is your operated leg for the purpose of this video. So that goes down first, just so you can take gentle weight through the elbow crutches as you're going down. So bad leg goes down first, elbow crutches, bad leg, and then good leg. Elbow crutches, operated leg, unoperated leg. And continue down like that. Okay, and then the last way to use stairs if you have to be non-weight bearing on your operated leg, which remember is this one, then you have to hop up the stairs, which is quite difficult. So with this one, you're hopping up, pushing up through the elbow crutch. So make sure you have a firm grip on a banister and you're pushing up. And going up the stairs that way. If you can't do this method, because it is quite difficult, then obviously other things can be arranged for you, such as downstairs living, 
um, if you're unable to use the stairs. And you're going up that way and then down the same way using this method. So when you're coming down, if you're non-weight bearing, again, you're going elbow crutch down first, holding the banister nice and firmly, and lowering down. Elbow crutch down first, firm grip on the banister, and then going down that way. And then that's the guide for using elbow crutches on the stairs.